Hey, hot off the presses. El Dorado taking on an undefeated Greenwood uh, Bulldog squad that really needs a win. Bulldogs strike first. Chase Presley finds Trayton Dowson, who takes us in for the score, getting the Bulldogs on the board first. Later on in the contest, this El Dorado team ain't going away yet, ladies and gentlemen. They are cashing in as Eli Shepard and Jarnell Love. Great catch in the end zone to tie things up right about there. But Hayden Carter great, makes a nice catch going to the end zone himself. Even the cameraman later on as Greenwood has the ball once again. Can't keep up. Devontae Kidd for the long, long touchdown pass to get El Dorado within striking distance. But no one really expected this. They rule him down at the one to tie things up. I'm sorry, for the, at, for the touchdown to tie things up. Sorry about that. But a great first half of action so far. But Greenwood goes on the, to uh, defeat El Dorado 45-24. Say in Greenwood. Yeah. Let's talk a little Arkansas yes. high football. Yeah. Arkansas homecoming, homecoming, obviously. Yeah. Once again, yeah. Arkansas versus Canem Fairview. So, Canem Fairview, well, no, this year, Canem Fairview is actually going to take this thing around the edge, and he's actually going to roll over his defender for the touchdown. Way to go. Exactly. Canem Canem things done. So, Arkansas couldn't do nothing. Next for zoom possession, Canem View is going to put this thing, guess what, in cruise control. In cruise control. And take it around the edge for the touchdown. Yeah. Arkansas is going to get it. They're finally going to get them a score in, and he's going to get that bad baby in. Arkansas is going to win this one over Camden View, 27 to 26. What a close game. Yeah, man. Let's talk a little about uh, Junction City okay. as they take on McGee. I'm sorry, McGee versus Rising. McGee versus Rising right now as uh, one of the teams moving this ball into the end zone for the touchdown. It looks like that is Ryzen right there. And so Ryzen's back at it again. They're back in offense. Moving the ball pretty good all game long. And Ryzen just is not quitting. They keep moving the football. And no, there's a good defense to stop by McGee right there as he would not allow them to score right there. But Ryzen goes in a win 30 to nothing. Big oh, win. Yeah. Junction City versus Hampton. Hampton's running out of the tunnel on this one, expecting a win on tonight. But it's Junction City Dragons. <laughs> Dragons. Jumps off early on this one on the run. So, uh, Hampton couldn't do nothing. So, next to possession, Junction City. Well, what do you know? Give it to him again, and he cruise control right into the end exactly. zone. All righty. Junction City once again after Hampton couldn't do anything and he's going to cruise. He's going to make a couple moves and you know what I'm about to say on this. Cruise control. Right into the end zone. Junction City is going to win this on big. 64 to 6. By the way, Brady Hutchinson to Jamal Johnson on that connection right there. Cross and Eagles at home this evening versus the Dumas Bobcats coming off a huge win versus Warren Lumberjack Classic. First time they beat those guys in 29 years. It's Eagles homecoming tonight. And later on, we have Walker and the ball midfield, and they are driving the ball. Walker Brown trying to fake the handoff to Derek Lee, but he loses the football. Eagles come up with it for the Bobcat turnover. Eagles with the ball now, and the quarterback, Justin Stokes, throws the ball real deep to his wide receiver, Carlos Williams, running in the end zone, caught for a second, couldn't come up with it. Next play on the drive for the Eagles, trying it again. This time it's Stokes, who had handed off to Willie Taylor, and he goes all the way to the housing development. In there for the score, 38-yard run. Cross at least 39 to 8 at the half. Wow. Eagles going to win the ball game 46 to 16. That's a lot of big games. All right, then. the strong Bulldogs are playing home against the, what are we at, four? Fort Ice. Fort Ice. Red, Red Bulls. Oh, Red Bulls. Okay. So, here on this drive, the quarterback, Jaheim Brown, is looking to throw and finds his number four, Caleb Jones all by himself to make an easy touchdown and they go up six to zero early later in the first the Bulldogs they have a chance to make a play and quarterback Newton finds beat betters for the catch and run so he finds himself in the Red Bucks territory so coach Wright happy with that one here the Bulldogs again with another throw from Newton but it's overthrown and intercepted by number two Jaquez Cross man the Red Bucks remain undefeated after this game your final Red Bucks 44 to 0. What is a Red Buck by the way? I've always wondered that. Hey let's talk a little Harmony Grove they are in action this evening as they take on Genoa Central over in Texarkana. 
Let's see, after a kickoff right here, their power guy, he gets a run, and if he cannot be stopped, he is going over. He's running to Louisiana. <laughs> he might be running to Monroe right now, actually. I got to see him on I-20 over there. Still running. Still running. Touchdown, kickoff return about, I want to say, what, 90, 90 yards, 90, 90, 92 yards? With Genoa Central back at it again. Or Harmony Grove, I should say, in there for the score as a running back. It's a decent, decent, decent gain on that play right there. Harmony Grove goes on a win 60 to 21. More football straight ahead, including a couple of previews of some big games taking place tomorrow. Straight ahead on Football Friday night right here at Fox 14.